Hey guys, it's Callie with Bookshelf Banter, and today I am going to bring you a review of Spellcaster by Carolyn Schultz. It is the second novel in a series, and I'm really not sure. I probably should tweet the author and find out if it's actually the final book, because there's a good substantial ending to it, and um, but there's more story that could be told, I guess, if, if she really wanted to play it that way. Now, back to the story at hand. Uh, now, the story, the first one, is called Spellbound, and it introduces characters named Emma, uh, Brendan, Angelique, Kristen, uh, pretty normal names that you hear all the time, which is, I think is kind of funny because a lot of YA authors are using kind of intriguing, interesting, different, almost weird names on occasion. Um, and I'm not sure if Carolyn Schultz intended for them to be names that mean something or just names that are familiar, but I actually kind of found them familiar. And because of that, it wasn't really difficult to remember their, their names. And when I came upon the second novel in the series, Spellcaster, I remembered everybody. And, um, I think that's kind of funny because sometimes you remember the name because it's different. But in this case, uh, the characters were still very familiar. They strayed, stayed true to the, um, the character that was in the first novel. There weren't too many changes. And uh, you're picking up this story where Spellbound leaves off. You have a couple, um, Emma and Brendan, who have found out that they are soulmates. And not just any soulmate, but soulmates that have found each other through time over and over again, but haven't been able to make it through um, to live long enough to um, live their lives together. And so they find themselves or each other and all of that. And, and then, of course, there's got to be somebody that's horrible and tries to break it up. And um, and that character is Anthony, and I think that's right, and he, he does some crazy stuff and in the end, they end up together. But through the process of all of this, Emma finds out that she is a witch. Hmm. Uh, Brendan's just hot and can get anything he wants, but Emma gets to be a witch. And because of that, uh, what happens at the end of the first book is that there's someone, and you don't know who it is, that uh, is extremely jealous, either jealous of her being a witch or of her being with Brendan. You really don't know. And... Um, she's going to terrorize Emma and Brendan and all of her friends. And so through all of that, we have Emma and her BFF, I guess, um, Angelique, who's also a witch, um, really just learning more about being witches. And I, I say that, but it really doesn't consume the whole story. Um, the first book is very angsty and like relationship focused. And the second book is more discovery and adventure because Emma's trying to protect Brendan and Brendan's trying to protect Emma and of course there's bad guys going after them and it, it, there's a little bit of mean girl action going on with this other character Kristen. Uh, it's, it's really fascinating. It reminds me of just watching a really good CW TV show. I don't mean that as an insult but kind of as a compliment because it probably would make a really good TV show. And um, I think that if you like that kind of melodrama, if you enjoy the witchy, mean girl, soulmate kind of thing, you're going to love this story. Who doesn't love that stuff, right? Um, I think that you'll really like it. I think that if you haven't read Spellbound, you need to get that first. You need to go get it by Carolyn Schultz, and you need to read it. And then you need to come back to the bookstore. Uh, March 27th is when it's released, and grab Spellcaster and read it. Um, I think you'll be pleased with it. It's it's a good four book on the bookshelf book. Um, Kelly did not make a video, but she's read this as well, and you can read her review on our website. Um, it's it's a good little a good little book. If you're needing something that's not too demanding, um, that you can pick up and put down and pick up and put down and and still feel like that you're not missing anything, this this is a good book. It, it's it's one of those that. Um, that it kind of just, it slipped in there with me. I wasn't really expecting it, and, uh, and it was pretty good. So, congratulations, Carolyn Schultz, on your second novel. 
and I look forward to future novels from you. And um, I think that you guys will enjoy this little book. So, hope you have a great day. I will be bringing another review soon, you know that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.